Len Waters was the first Aboriginal Australian military aviator and the only one to serve as a fighter pilot in the Royal Australian Air Force during World War II. Born in 1924 in northern New South Wales and raised in southeast rural Queensland, Waters grew up dreaming of flying. He was 18 years old and working as a shearer when he joined the Royal Australian Air Force in 1942. Although initially he trained as a mechanic, as soon as he could, he joined the flying training program. He learned how to fly in a Wirraway plane, just like this one, after doing his initial flight training in a Tiger Moth plane. Waters graduated as a sergeant pilot in 1944 and was sent to PNG flying P-40 Kitty Hawks in the Southwest Pacific theater of World War II. He completed 95 combat missions and by the end of the war had risen to the rank of warrant officer, the person in charge of a dozen fighter planes and organising the combat missions. Following his discharge from the RAAF in 1946, he attempted to start a regional airline but was unable to secure financial backing and government approval. So he went back to working as a shearer he estimated that he had sheared around one million sheep. Len Waters died in 1993 at the age of 69 and was buried in the St George Cemetery in Queensland. His life is honoured by the naming of parks, streets, suburbs, overpasses and a building at the RAAF base in Williamstown. But perhaps Len Waters is best remembered for his perseverance and resilience in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Like this little training plane called a Wirraway, with the Aboriginal word for challenge, Waters faced every challenge with courage and determination. But how many of us truly persevere when we encounter difficulties or delays in achieving our goals and hope for success? Next time you find yourself getting discouraged in life, keep moving forward. Perseverance pays off in the long run. The Bible encourages us with these words, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. If you would like to find purpose and meaning in your life, then I'd like to recommend the free gift we have for you today. It's the popular Bible reading guide, A Second Chance at Life. Just go to our Incredible Journey website, tij.tv, to request your free Bible reading guide now.